Hello today's video we have the following content. Looking at Luo Jin again after 4 years, marrying Tang Yan and having a daughter is the greatest luck in his life. In today's entertainment industry, there are frequent parting scenes, which makes people sigh, causing many people to doubt and waver in the sincerity of love. However, the deep affection between Luo Jin and Tang Yan is undoubtedly a model of love in the entertainment industry. Even if the post-85 actresses have left the scene, Luo Jin and Tang Yan are still affectionate and loving as before. However, the beginning of this relationship does not seem to be favored and blessed by everyone. In the past, Luo Jin was short of money and could not raise the life-saving medicine. He was finally abandoned by Miao Pu, leaving him alone sighing in the wind. In the past, Luo Jin and Miao Pu took the interview seat together after the filming of Mu Gain takes command and talked about the filming. Under the lens of the program, Miao Pu praised Luo Jin generously, saying that he was a man with a very romantic sentiment. Luo Jin smiled shyly, and deep in his eyes, love rippled like spring water, flowing quietly. They walked out of the play and turned into a pair of peerless lovers, the man was handsome and the woman was beautiful. However, in order to raise an expensive medical fee, Mia Pu resolutely turned around and threw herself into the warm embrace of the wealthy businessman Chen Nihang. Luo Jin was sad because of this. For a long time, he was skeptical about love and found it difficult to believe in its existence. Until Luo Jin met Tang Yan, his heartstrings were instantly moved and he was intoxicated in an instant. Since Tang Yan and Luo Jin fell in love, their love was deep and deep, like honey. The two went hand in hand and comforted each other's past scars. Today, Luo Jin should be most grateful to the woman named Miao Pu. If she had not let go, how could there be the sweet music he and Tang Yang composed today? This time, let us stroll through the corridor of time and recount the legendary chapters of the three protagonists. 01. Mia Pu, who has a smooth acting career. In the land of Shuangxi, a legendary story about Mia Pu quietly unfolds. In 1977, Mia Pu, like a bright star, descended into a family of opera full of rhythm and harmony. Her mother was a Huadan of the Opera Research Institute, graceful and moving, and dancing gracefully, and her father Miao Difa was a shining star in the local Kinkian circle, with a great reputation. Although she was born in a family of opera, Miao Pu did not have much love for the way of acting when she was young. Her personality was like a man's, quite naughty, and she could be called a leader of children. She often ran and played with a group of children in the courtyard. When she was young, Mia Pu and Wang Dazi had a deep friendship. They often went together and sneaked into the ancient theater, stealing half a day of leisure to appreciate the joys and sorrows on the stage together. Wang Dazi is a bit shy, and his restraint reveals a kind of implicit humility. Mia Pu is as bold and unrestrained as a teenager, with extraordinary courage and meticulous mind. Therefore, whenever a naughty play is performed, Wang Dazi always cannot escape a punishment, while Mia Pu is like a bystander hiding in the corner and quietly enjoying this play of laughter, anger and scolding. As Miao Pu grows up, she gradually feels that Wang Dazi's wisdom is limited, so she rarely travels with him. However, as time goes by, both of them embark on the journey of the entertainment industry, but the ship of friendship still moves forward steadily in the wind and waves, and they are still indispensable friends in each other's lives. In elementary school, her parents saw the shining light of Miao Pu's acting, like a gifted star quietly blooming in the innocent sky. She is like a bright pearl, absorbing the wisdom of the elders, and performing the Kinky Ang opera vividly, as if she was born to inherit this unique artistic treasure. Therefore, when the young Miao Pu was in the first grade, her parents led her to the stage to perform the ancient Kinky Ang art. People often say that women change 18 times, but Miao Pu's transformation started early. At the age of 8, she was as beautiful as a finely carved jade. Her eyes were as clear as a spring, shining with a lively light, her cheeks were round and cute, like plump fruits, and her hair was soft and elegant, like flowing silk satin. She appeared with a high bun, like a flower in midsummer, blooming brilliantly. In the courtyard, she shuttled flexibly, sometimes jumping lightly, sometimes running happily, like a jumping sunshine, illuminating everything around. Neighbors all stopped to admire and called her a lively and lovely elf. Originally, Mia Pu's fate was destined to follow the footsteps of her parents and sing the splendor of life with the rhythm of Kinki Ang on the land of Shaanxi. However, at the age of 18, a competition in Beijing quietly changed her life trajectory like a spring breeze. Mother, I have some resistance in my heart and I don't seem to be willing to go. Mia Pu, a woman who has never stepped out of Xi'an, 
suddenly received an invitation to go to Beijing to compete, and she couldn't help but feel an inexplicable fear in her heart. Of course I have to go. The teacher has already engraved your name on the list. How can I live up to this expectation? When her mother heard that she wanted to quit, she was furious. Being able to go to Beijing to study is undoubtedly a great gift in life, how precious it is. In the end, Miao Pu stepped onto the field. After a long period of baptism and tempering, she finally won the crown. At the beginning of her acting career, Miao Pu stepped into the dream world of Flying White Horse, which was presented thanks to the director Feng Xiaoyang's Gang's insight. Starring side by side with Wang Dazi, they weaved an unforgettable screen memory together. In the same year, Luo Jin was still like a naughty monkey, lively and active in the campus of youth, playing and enjoying the carefree time of middle school. Luo Jin once had the ambition of a doctor, but after watching the action style of Hong Kong movies, he was moved and changed his ambition. He dreamed of becoming a martial arts superstar, looking forward to being as agile as Jet Li and as brave as Jackie Chan, leaving his legendary figure on the screen. In 1998, Miao Pu crossed thousands of mountains and rivers from Shaanxi and entered the Hall of Beijing Film Academy. Since then, she has embarked on her own acting career and bloomed with brilliant light. Miao Pu has an unparalleled hero experience, so many scripts of big female lead dramas have thrown olive branches to her. After graduation, Feng Xiaoyang Gang took the initiative to find her with full sincerity, hoping to join hands with her, go to the road of film and television, and conclude a contract. Miao Pu's heart moved, recalling that she entered this complicated entertainment industry with the guidance of director Feng Xiaoyang Gang. Perhaps he was the noble man in her life. After signing the contract, Miao Pu was like a bright new star. Under the dedicated cultivation of director Feng Xiaoyang Gang, she shone brightly and became a highly anticipated new artist. In 2003, Absolute Control was launched brilliantly. The image of policewoman played by Miao Pu was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, so she stood out and was promoted to the highly anticipated Four Little King Gai, and her acting career blossomed with brilliant brilliance. In the same year, Luo Jin stepped out of the door of the drama school and stepped into the screen for the first time. He embarked on the road of acting and participated in the first play in his life story of the sales office. With his immature acting skills, he depicted the various aspects of life and interpreted the story of the sales office, starting his own artistic journey. In the following years, Mia Pu's artistic career was in full swing, with excellent works coming out year after year and full of glory every year. The Golden Eagle shines, flies gracefully, and shows its style on the edge of can. Its glorious posture is dazzling and eye-catching. Compared with the brilliant scenery of the nursery, Luo Jin's acting career seems simple and plain. 2. The passage of time is like a long scroll, slowly unfolding in front of you. Time flies, taking away countless prosperity and loneliness, but leaving behind those stories and memories deeply engraved in our hearts. Every past is like a bright pearl, inlaid in the journey of life, shining and never fading. Luo Jin's life chapter began in the fertile soil of Zhangzi. It was the spring of 1981. He quietly descended in the quiet small county town of Yuchen, like a seed, quietly taking root and sprouting under the nourishment of the years. Although the family is not rich, his father, as a local doctor, is enough for us to have no worries about food and clothing and live a safe life. Luo Jin is also a man of uninhibited love. People often talk about boys' naughtiness, and he is no exception. His father is a doctor and is busy with patients every day, so it is difficult for him to spare time to take care of his children. In the absence of parental control, Luo Jin's courage grows quietly like spring water, and he becomes more fearless. Climbing ancient trays, teasing beehives, playing in the water, many naughty actions have been done by him. However, what he loves most is to mingle in other people's wedding banquets and enjoy the joy and excitement. After all, at the wedding banquet, there are all kinds of delicious food and fine wine. At that time, Luo Jin did not yet have the dream of being an actor, and his life did not point to the bizarre stage. If fate is smooth, he may inherit his father's career and serve as a doctor in his hometown to protect the well-being of the people. As he got older and approached the threshold of junior high school, his father could not help but feel worried when he saw that his child was still plain and mischievous. With the determination to let his child sharpen his wool, he sent Luo Jin to Hubei when he was 11 years old to study martial arts, hoping that the child could understand the true meaning of life in the collision of bones and flesh. In the Hall of Martial Arts, Luo Jin's life was as hard as practicing. Every day before dawn, he would face the glimmer and devote himself to the training of martial arts. Once, 
Luo Jin was injured accidentally due to physical exhaustion. The blood was like broken beads, spilling all over the ground, dyeing the trajectory of time red. When the mother hurried over and saw her son's injured appearance, she felt a deep pity in her heart. She gently stroked her son's face, her eyes full of care and worry, and softly persuaded him to go home and recuperate. However, facing his father's solemn face, Luo Jin was as stubborn as ever and said firmly, When my father tells me to go home, I will go home. It is this unyielding persistence that has given Luo Jin a brilliant chapter in his future story. Since completing his further studies at the Washu Academy, Luo Jin has never stopped and has once again thrown himself into the torrent of exams. Finally, he overcame all obstacles and was honored to enter the hall of the Beijing Film Academy. The students of that class were talented, like bright stars. Among them, Zhang Yuan, Liu Yifri, Zhuyuan and other outstanding talent all studied with Luo Jin and wrote a chapter of youth together. On the campus of Beijing Film Academy, Luo Jin had a period of youth spent with his classmates. Among them, his classmate Liu Yifri was only 14 years old, immature and smart. Although they were classmates, the resources they had were very different. After all, Liu Yifri had a powerful nobleman behind her to help her pave the way. If we describe it poetically, when Luo Jin was a sophomore, he first dreamed of acting as a farmer. The time in the mirror was only five minutes, but it was like a bright star in the long river of time. Liu Yifri, like a bright star, shines in art halls such as the story of a noble family and the demigods and semi-devils, becoming the god is in the hearts of a generation, exuding irresistible charm. After graduation, Luo Jin took on roles such as male number four and male number three, like the stars in his supporting career. Before the brilliant star journey, every actor has experienced some unknown hardships, and Luo Jin is no exception. In 2002, when Ying Da was directing a comedy, he wanted to find a role of a migrant worker, which was necessary for the film. Luo Jin begged for the opportunity to audition without hesitation. Although the remuneration was only 50 yuan, his heart was filled with unspeakable joy. For Luo Jin, as a child of a small town, suffering has long become a necessity of life. He holds on to his faith and is sure that one day, his hard work will be rewarded with fruitful results. However, it is Luo Jin's persistence that has opened up another bright starry sky in the world of film and television. 3. Breaking up because of money after a short relationship. In 2011, Luo Jin, who was in his 30s, starred in only a few dramas, which can be counted on five fingers. In this year, he joined hands with the world Maya Opu of the same school to co-star in the masterpiece New Gaiin Takes Command, and jointly performed a story that will be passed down through the ages. Although Luo Jin is the male lead, he is not the darling of the camera, and he has never been accompanied by many roles. Under Maya Opu's interpretation, the whole drama seems to revolve around her. She is the only protagonist throughout the whole play. Even the melodious and moving theme song was sung by her personally, pouring her emotions into it. However, all this did not stop Luo Jin's growing feelings for Mi Apu, which grew quietly and dreamlike. When he first met the Mi Apu, Luo Jin felt a little fear in his heart, just like the first buds of early spring touching the frost. Mi Apu's eyes were as bright as stars. When she stared at Luo Jin, Luo Jin couldn't help but think of a majestic Guan Gong statue in his mind, as if he was shocked by the sharpness and determination in her eyes. You are a brave man, why should you be afraid of anything? When filming the rival scenes, Luo Jin was extra careful, fearing that he would accidentally touch Mi Aupu and cause her the slightest harm. Such behavior made Mi Aupu disdainful, so she rebuked him mercilessly. Luo Jin's heart surged, and he hurriedly apologized, but he secretly thought in his heart that he was afraid of your blame and feared that you would punch him. Originally thought that they were not compatible, they looked at each other sideways, but as time passed, after spending time together, Luo Jin quietly fell in love with Miao Pu. He knew that Miao Pu was straightforward and frank, but she was kind-hearted. When Luo Jin was immersed in the play and felt nervous, Miao Pu always gave him gentle and meticulous guidance like a spring breeze. She often looked for traces of delicious food outside the busy play, brought those delicious dishes back to the crew, and then gently handed them to Luo Jin, a box of food full of warmth and care, conveying the deep friendship between the two. When the play was finished, Luo Jin lightly carried his bag, held Miao Pu's hand tightly, and left the crew hand in hand. The two smiled at each other, and a faint pink atmosphere filled the air, as if the whole space was surrounded by warm sweetness. Since the flower of love blossomed, the two have always been hand in hand, appearing on the screen, shuttling between variety shows, 
or attending interviews together, inseparable, and loving each other. In a program, Miao Pu gently opened her red lips and asked Luo Jin in a soft voice, Luo Jin, why do you fall in love with me? Luo Jin is like Yang Zongbao in ancient times, and he expressed his feelings in his tone affectionately. Love is as deep as the sea, and I love your courage and fearlessness. I dare to love, dare to act, and dare to take responsibility. At this moment, Miao Pu was deeply moved, and tears fell like pearls from a broken string, silently telling the waves in her heart. Every time Miao Pu mentioned Luo Jin, her face was always filled with joy and admiration, and she gently praised him for being considerate and a man with a very romantic sentiment. Luo Jin's praise for Miao Pu was beyond words, and every time he mentioned him, he was full of praise. However, the deep affection that had lasted less than a year suddenly became disturbed because Miao Pu's father was bedridden. Miao Pu, your mother is already stretched to the limit, can you lend a hand to your father and save him from the dire situation? One day, Miao Pu was immersed in the filming of the crew when she suddenly heard the melodious ring of the phone. It turned out to be a call from her mother in the distance. Her mother had been silently waiting in the corner of the hospital in her hometown for more than a month. Her figure was getting thinner and thinner, as if she had been eroded by the wind and frost of the years. After some exploration, Miao Pu learned that her father was seriously ill and her mother was. All his savings were spent, but his father's illness still did not improve. Miao Pu hastily spent hundreds of thousands of yuan in his hand and sent it all to his mother, but it was still not enough to fill the huge gap. At this moment, Luo Jin generously donated all his family wealth, more than 200,000 yuan, to Miao Pu. However, Miao Pu's father was seriously ill and the medical expenses he needed were far beyond the meager funds. This meager funding could hardly cover the huge expenses of his treatment. Although the money was meager, it was full of sincere thoughts and should not be underestimated. However, when everyone thought that the two were about to spend the rest of their lives together, Miao Pu's birthday wishes to Luo Jin were like autumn wind sweeping fallen leaves, gently blowing away this affection and turning it into misty clouds. Dear brother, I wish you a happy birthday. I hope you can spend this beautiful time with your beloved and build a harbor of love together. I look forward to witnessing your happy marriage in 2012 and raising the crystallization of love together. This blessing message flows with the warmth of friendship, but between the lines it quietly reveals that Mia Pu only regards Luo Jin as a close brother, not a lover. Luo Jin smiled bitterly to cover up the sadness deep in his heart. When Mia Pu was anxious about the lack of funds, Chen Yihang, a wealthy businessman outside the circle, generously donated millions of dollars like timely rain. Speaking of Chen Yihang, his life journey is inspiring. He was once a salesman, but with his perseverance and unremitting efforts, he climbed step by step to the position of vice president of Lenin Company and wrote his own legendary chapter. He not only cared for me a poo, but also took good care of her family, and his deep affection was beyond words. He took the trouble to contact overseas doctors to diagnose and treat me a poo's father's illness, showing his deep affection. Time flies, me a and Chen Yihun quietly walk hand in hand and write their beautiful chapter together. Since Miao Pu entered the palace of marriage, she faded out of the screen and rarely painted her life with drama. It is said that she has always loved swimming in the wide swimming pool of the villa and enjoying the pleasant time of rippling water. She signed up for a pilot's license on her own, often flew a private plane, and leisurely watched the magnificent scenery between heaven and earth. Talking about Luo Jin, he had experienced a period of sadness, but soon after, he and Tang Yan went on a journey of love and opened a new sweet chapter. Fourth, love that heals each other. At a certain moment in 2011, Tang Yan and Luo Jin's fate quietly intersected and they knew each other. However, Luo Jin at that time was more fond of weaving the dreamlike screen relationship with Miao Pu. Knowing that Tang Yan had someone in her heart, he consciously kept a distance from her, letting that deep affection quietly retreat in the quiet time. However, Qiu Zhe prefers to play a hazy and ambiguous dance with female stars. Tang Yan once visited Qiu Zhe's mansion, and unexpectedly, her eyes caught a strange woman's clothing quietly hanging in the room. She asked Qiu Zhe softly whether he had betrayed their vows, but Qiu Zhe responded in an indifferent tone that physiological needs must be solved. Tang Yan tried her best, but Qiu Zhe was like autumn water without a trace, and he didn't mention anything about marriage, which made people sigh. Qiu Zhe privately announced that the relationship was over, which made Tang Yan very sad. She burst into tears but couldn't confide. After saying goodbye to Qiu Zhe, 
Tang Yan devoted herself to the ocean of film and television, shooting day and night until she met Luo Jin again. In the dazzling 2015, Luo Jin and Tang Yan once again joined hands to perform the romantic and beautiful Diamond Lover together. In the original script, the hero and heroine were supposed to dance together, but when the filming was coming to an end, the hero was tied up by a busy schedule and could not get away to act together. After the show was released, neither Luo Jin nor Tang Yan made a name for themselves, but the second female lead, Di Liba, jumped into everyone's sight with her charming appearance and became the focus of attention. Luo Jin and Tang Yan sat side by side, leaning on each other on the soft sofa, admiring Di Liba's unparalleled beauty, as if time had frozen at this moment, leaving only this beautiful picture. Di Liba rose like a bright star, but her emotional world always maintained the tranquility of a solo dance, blooming beautiful light alone. Luo Jin and Tang Yan, riding the wind of love, once again joined hands to go on the filming journey of the Princess Wei Young and compose a romantic chapter together. The two of them, on and off the stage, are deeply affectionate. Even if they attend the banquet night, they must sing a love song together, with love flowing, envied by others. After two years of deep love, Luo Jin finally plucked up the courage to make a lifelong commitment to Tang Yan. Tang Yan took the dazzling diamond ring, covered her mouth and burst into a bright smile, her eyes curved into crescents, overflowing with happiness and joy. Yan Ayan, when the ring gently slipped into your fingers, you became the most cherished partner in my life. Tang Yan nodded slightly, gently embraced Luo Jin in her arms, and warm emotions flowed in the air. In the brilliant year of 2018, the two tied the knot and entered the palace of marriage hand in hand, and then went to a romantic wedding feast in a foreign country. Since then, Luo Jin rarely set foot in his hometown of Shaanxi. Most of the time, he and Tang Yan accompanied each other in the prosperous Shanghai Bund, spending warm years together. Luo Jin once said that his struggle was nothing more than the soaring of his career. However, the deeper emotion came from Tang Yan's deep attachment to her parents and her reluctance to leave them, which made her unable to bear to leave their parents' arms. V. After marriage, Luo Jin only is home in his heart. Since they got married, the two have been as affectionate as honey, and their love is beyond words. In 2019, they embarked on a foreign trip hand in hand to spend a sweet honeymoon time together. Tang Yang covered her face with a pair of atmospheric sunglasses, holding the lively and cute Mickey Mouse ice cream in her hand. The smile on her mouth was like the warm spring sun, warm and bright, and seemed to be about to overflow the screen and infect the hearts of every viewer. Whenever he went out, Luo Jin was always gentle and elegant, holding the bag in one hand and holding Tang Yan's jade hand in the other, and the two walked together. She was like a delicate little princess carved by time, surrounded by her husband's deep affection and love. In September of that year, Tang Yan announced a new chapter in her life with a gentle touch, and Luo Jin resolutely put down his busy acting appointments and spent half a year with her to protect the hope of new life. During her pregnancy, Tang Yan insisted on participating in the filming of Yunayande for several months, interpreting the greatness of maternal love and her persistence in art with tenacity. However, her physical condition was unbearable, so many shots were performed by a stand-in to interpret her role. When the show was broadcast, Tang Yan's reputation was like falling leaves, and she was hit unprecedentedly. In recent years, Luo Jin has had abundant resources, and his acting skills have been praised for being deep and steady, which is really eye-catching. As soon as He Li Hua Ting was broadcast, he won the unique title of the most miserable male lead, which made people sigh. In the bright season of the screen in 2020, the play in Jia was like a spring breeze and was widely praised. Zhang Meng was looking forward to it and sent a message to Luo Jin, asking him softly if he had watched the drama he had performed with all his heart. Luo Jin devoted himself to his wife and children, and never glanced at his screen work, without distraction. However, Tang Yan is intoxicated with the fun of chasing dramas at home every day. Whenever she mentions her husband, she always praises him and says that he is handsome. Zhang Men tells the story, and there is endless envy between the lines. Obviously, the secret in this circle, the deep love between Tang Yan and Luo Jin, has long been known to everyone. After marriage, Luo Jin is like a hermit, hiding his fame. In addition to investing in film and television creation, he has almost never been involved in troubled social occasions, like a breeze passing by his ears, leaving no trace. Even if you are in the bright starlight of the annual film festival and TV drama festival, it is fleeting. You always rushed home, and only the direction of home is in your heart. In 2022, 
Shanghai was shrouded in the haze of the epidemic. Luo Jin and Tang Yan were both trapped at home and could not go out to enjoy the flowers. However, netizens carefully observed that every time the nucleic acid test was conducted, the two always went downstairs separately and never went together. For this reason, netizens once had doubts. Could it be that the two of them were emotionally unfriendly and difficult to get along? Although the two have not refuted the rumors, on the innocent June 1st, Tang Yang quietly shared a warm photo of the baby, like a star quietly dotted in the night sky, which is very imaginative. Look, their love is still as strong as before, but this deep affection has become more restrained and no longer publicized. This year, Luo Jin's only screen work is The Long River of the World. Like a Loki artist, his carefully crafted masterpiece still needs years to settle, and we can meet it unexpectedly at the end of the year. Luo Jin gradually slowed down the pace of film and television, perhaps because he wanted to spend more time to gently accompany his wife and daughter and enjoy the rare parrot chide time. Conclusion The beauty of love lies in letting it go naturally and making it happen, and the happiness of marriage lies in being plain and steady. Tang Yan and Luo Jin, who have experienced hardships, have each waded through the bitter river of love, but they meet again in the tapestry of fate, just like the starry night sky, each shining, and finally converging into a brilliant Milky Way. Perhaps, the sky just gave the two a trial, intending to let their hearts be sharpened and comprehended in the journey of love. Tang Yan and Qiu's relationship is over, and her heart is like a knife, and the pain is unbearable. Her best friend Yang Mi can't bear to see her haggard state. Time flies, Yang Mi and Liu Kei Yi have gone their separate ways, and as time goes by, Tang Yan and Luo Jin are deeply in love and write a good story together. Luo Jin has long hidden the scars of the past in his heart. Even if he performs side by side with Miao Pu again, he can treat it calmly, just like meeting an old friend again. This may be the mark of a person's growth, letting go of the past twists and turns, and only looking forward to the quiet time in the future. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,